Today we're taking a first look and review with the new Dobbins Maverick series of rods. What's up everybody? Welcome to Fishing with Gramps, presented by American Legacy Fishing Company, right here on YouTube. That's right, Dobbins finally released their new $99 series of rods. Apparently retailers kept telling Gary Dobbins that Dobbins needed to release a $99 rod to compete in that category. So he did. Black and blue, two of my favorite colors. Kind of matches up with the Champion XP line of thinking, but a good looking rod nonetheless. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I bought this rod to absolutely abuse, to beat the snot out of. Why? Because, hey, it's $99. Really want to test the limits of this rod. I really, really want to see what it's capable of. So, what am I going to use this thing for? Frogs <laughs> and punching. Yep, I'm going to take their lowest end rod, the 7. 735C, one of the best models up and down all of the different price points at Dobbins. Everybody loves the 735C in the Fury series for frogs, and even more so the Champion XP 735 frog rod. Well, we are going to take this $99 Maverick and totally, totally abuse it. You can see how sweet the logo looks through there. The rod itself is wrapped very well. Nice accents from top to bottom eva foam handles the guides are from sea guide not fuji but hey 99 dollars. can't have too many expectations but sea guide does a good job as well there's not a whole lot of information on the blank itself the the website says it's made from mitsubishi materials or what they call high modulus blanks it's balanced like every dobbins is it's balanced very well and i mean perfectly you cannot that's one thing i love about dobbins is they are super super well balanced Got EVA foam on the handle. A lot of people like those. I'm one of those guys who don't care. I like the wind grips. I like the foam. I like the cork. It's really just not something I think or care about when I'm actually out fishing. I mean, one of the things I like about it over the cork is I don't have to worry about sealing it to keep it from rotting out later. And they're nice and soft and grippy. Now, there's 11 different Maverick rods. You got five spinning, five casting, and then one crankbait specific. It's a pretty good offering for a budget series rod. The Maverick 735 is a 7-foot three one piece it's rated for 12 to 25 pound line quarter ounce through an ounce and a half weights it's a mag heavy fast action what i plan on using this rod for is for frog fishing around pads heavy vegetation and i also plan to use this for punching heavy vegetation with three quarter ounce tungsten weights that i got from american legacy fishing like i said i really really plan on beating the crap out of this rod because first i want to see if it can take it and two that way i don't have to worry about jacking up any of my other rods at this price point i really want to see how good it can be what am i going to pair this rod up with how about the daiwa tattoo elite pitch flip reel should be a perfect combination do everything i want to do that's right now looking at this color scheme who do i think daiwa was really competing with in this market that's right the shimano slx line black blue affordable 99 dollars price point rods yep so we'll see how it goes i actually really like the shimano slx liner rods i keep one in my truck a two-piece in case i get some time after work and i don't have everything else with me i can bust that out from under the back seat of the truck and go fish anytime but i love me some dobbins i love the balance i've loved the performance of every dobbins rod i've ever owned so instead of taking it up a notch i'm taking it down a notch to the 99 price point and man we're gonna see how this thing performs if you're a budget-minded angler it might be a rod that you really want to look into but like i said i'm going to try to beat the snot out of this thing and see how it holds up dobbins has a good reputation in my book so we'll see how it does what are your favorite rods around the 99 dollars price point drop me a comment down below and hey guys if you find value in videos like this these previews and reviews we kind of do before the season gets started and then the roundups afterward give me a thumbs up let me know it's something that you like it also helps youtube share these videos out to other people who might be looking for content like this. Hey, if you want to check out some of the other previews I've done, you can watch those right up here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can click this little ball right here. Until next time, get outside when you can and make some memories, one cast at a time.